what is going on guys welcome back to another video my name is sparkman today i'm going to show you how to create an animated sequence using unreal engine 4 and icon 7 for this example we are going to use the icon 7 light link a lot of people think this is complicated okay and uh you might be right okay but not with icon 7 and the live link as with these tools uh anyone can do this stuff it's uh super simple all right guys before we continue don't forget to smack the like button and subscribe all right guys so let's open the icon 7 and uh, let's get started uh let me set this up to a standard workspace this is an icon 7 if you don't have it download it the link is down below let's drop the android girl so let's go to the motion puppet and uh, let's make a lady walk and let's try female walk okay you can adjust this to whatever you want okay that's uh that's not too bad there that looks pretty pretty good okay i think the arms need some uh, adjustment so let me uh, do that now just fix the elbows a little bit that actually looks very good just like that okay there's a ton of stuff you can do here uh it's almost way too much to cover in one video okay but uh you can just experiment by yourself so there you go guys the arms are um not touching the hips and that's what we want okay so uh let me um record this now to animate these guys all you have to do is uh, press the record button before we do that let me um add more frames Let's say uh, 5,000 frames. We won't use them all, but uh, I like to have a lot of frames. Put the range all the way to the end. And let's record this. Press the space bar. We're going to record uh, roughly about 3,000 frames. Okay, so that should be enough there. Let me just uh, press the space bar again. And now we have an animation. Now if you uh, now if you scroll the needle, you can see that uh, if you press a space bar or play or press the play button, we have a very nice animation. Okay, nice professionally looking animation. So all we have to do now is uh, move our character. Okay, so let me uh, zero out the character, put her in the center. There she is. Make sure you're in the first frame. Okay. Uh, let me just uh, let me just create some uh, boxes here. A lot of people forget that you can do anything in the uh, Icon Seven. I'll place that box there. Place another box somewhere else, and that's just a reference for me. Okay, so I can uh, move the character. Okay, she's going to move all the ways up there. So we're gonna go to uh, say around here. And let's move our character. Okay, so play this back. And uh, let me set the... Uh, let me set the transition curve... To something more flat. Just linear. And that is so there is no gradual acceleration or deacceleration. Okay, so let me just set that to linear. And let's see what that looks like. Press play. And that's not too bad there. I mean, you know, you can adjust it to your liking. But that seems pretty normal there. Okay, so now we're going to link this uh, to Unreal Engine. Okay, so let me uh, bring out our plugin. If you don't have this plugin, uh, you can download it right now. The link is down below. Uh, I already sent this data already, so all I have to do now is link it. Okay, so uh, I only want to send the the camera and and the girl. Now, if you can't find this window in Unreal Engine, it's here. Live link. So all you have to do now it's um, enable the port. So now we can receive data from iCloud 7. Put these uh, side by side. So you see what's happening. Okay, maybe I can close these uh, windows. I don't, don't need those anymore. Close this one too. Let me activate the link. And press play. You can see that uh, our character is moving all the ways out there. 
There she is. So let me adjust the position. Icon origin actor. Okay, so where is our origin? It's over there. So there is our origin. That's what the icon looks like if you uh, if you get lost. Okay, so let me just adjust the position of our character. Just gonna go through the door there. Right there. So now let's press play. You can see that uh, she's walking inside Unreal Engine. Alright, so that's good. That's good, good, good there. So let me just uh, deactivate the link here. So what we're going to do here is uh, we are going to create a camera. And uh, we are going to follow our character. And I'm going to switch to uh, my preview. There's the camera. Let's go to top view. And uh, to see what the camera sees, we are going to bring out our uh, mini viewport. Which is here on the side here. Uh, all we have to do now is follow the character. The character goes all the way up there. So... Okay, so here is the camera. And let me find... Transform. Okay, that's for the movement. And uh, we want to do the same thing. We want to set the uh, transition curve to linear. So there is no gradual acceleration or deacceleration. Just like our character. So let's go back to the first frame and let's press play. See what happens. You can see that uh, the camera is following her pretty, pretty good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to adjust the position of the camera in the fifth in the first frame because this is what the Unreal Engine is going to see over there yeah so whatever you set here that's what uh, you are going to see in Unreal Engine 4 guys this, this used to be very complicated before but uh, thanks to Icon 7 anyone can do this now yeah so you can impress your friends yeah if you work for the studio you can impress your boss alright so there you go uh, that works fine. So let's link this again. Uh, I'm actually using ray tracing, so you can actually see it here. The, this kind of slows down a little bit when when you do that. I mean, and that depends on your video card. Okay, so my computer is a dinosaur, so I turn it off. <laughs> All right. So uh, yeah. So if you're having any problems with the frame rate, um, turn it off for the capture. You can render this with ray tracing, no problem. All right. That's just for the preview, pretty much. Actually, when you click on the camera, you will see uh, ray tracing live. Let's go to plugins, live link. And uh, this time we want to use the cameras. Okay, let's link um, the programs. Okay, so we're now linked. And let's press play. That seems fine there. Let me switch to the main camera, to the active camera, and let's press play. There you go. Super simple. Now to avoid the stuttering there like that, uh, depends on, I guess, and I guess that depends on your system, okay? So if you have an older system, you probably want to turn on uh, frame by frame. Don't forget, it's right here. So watch this now super smooth animation so so now the next step will be to record this so let me just set this at the full screen so you can see what's happening a lot of people think this is complicated and this is actually extremely simple okay so here we go you can see the ray tracing on the preview let's first add the origin then our um, character and the cameras uh, I think it's camera um, camera one, and I believe it is the editor camera, just in case. Now under the sequence recorder, you can change stuff here. Make sure you set the uh, the length to zero. And the rest is fine by default. So let's set this uh, side by side again, so you can see what's happening. Let's press the record button. Ready.
So now we can um, unlink this here. And let's open our sequence. So let me go cinematics, sequence. And let's go to uh, recorded sequences. Select the camera and press play. There you go, guys. Extremely simple. Anyone can do this. You can change the uh, frame rate and whatever you want here. You can play around with those settings. Now, to make a video out of this, all you have to do is uh, press this button here. And here you can select whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to set this uh, to 60 frames per second. You can set this at 128 if you wanted to. It don't really matter. And I'm going to set this uh, to Super Atom 1920 by 1080. And yeah, so let me uh, capture this. Save it. If you have ray tracing enabled, this will render with ray tracing.